What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivated.ca Welcome back, today is day 17 of the Ramadan fat loss workout series at home Today we're going to get right into it, we're going to do something different We've done it before but I thought we'd take it down a little bit, we've been going pretty hard lately We're going to do jumping jacks instead today instead of doing the mountain climbers So we're going to do 3 sets of 50 jumping jacks I know it's quite a bit but it'll be okay, you'll be able to get through it So let's get started What we're going to do is we're going to start with our hands out and jump up when we do that and we come back we're gonna jump back in and bring our legs back in okay so ready and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Ten more guys, come on, one, two, you got it, three, let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fifty. So Jumping jets are fairly easy, but when you do a lot of reps, they get a little difficult. So that was good. Let's take a little break. We're gonna breathe. Now, if you weren't able to get all to the 50, no problem. You can do 25, you can do 35, it's up to you. Ready, keep breathing. Ready, and go. One, two, three. Keep breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, halfway, come on, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, 20 more guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. Whew, beautiful, okay, let's take a break. You guys are wonderful. One more set, guys. Just a few more seconds and we're gonna finish it off, okay? And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. One, breathe. Two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Six, keep going. Seven, let's go. Eight, nine, thirty, ten, twenty more. One, breathe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and forty. Ten more. One, Two, you got it. Three, let's go. Come on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 50. Beautiful, guys. That was a little tough. You got through it. Beautiful. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Well, let's recover. Very nice. We have now a minute break. Then we're gonna do the next set. We've done it before. We're just gonna add a little bit more reps this time. We're gonna do lateral lunges like we did last week. We're gonna do three sets of 12 this time, okay? So we're gonna add two more reps for like. Oh wow, that got, really gets your heart rate up, right? Any type of jumping exercise will get your heart rate to go up really good, but that was amazing. Ready, keep breathing.
Okay, so three sets of 12 per leg lateral lunges. Again, keep your feet together, take your step to the side, hip back, knee that way, and push back from this leg. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, very nice. Seven, good. Eight, beautiful. Nine, good. 10, nice. 11, one more. And 12, beautiful guys, let's switch sides. And take the hip back and push back, one. Two, good. Three, good. Four, very nice. Five, good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve, very nice guys. First set in the books, let's breathe. So again, like last time, we can get a weight now if you want. You wanna make it a little more harder, you can hold on to a weight and then do it with a weight as well, okay? Today you're gonna to need a dumbbell, by the way. I forgot to tell you in the beginning, you're gonna need dumbbells and you're gonna need a stool to sit on, okay? If you don't have dumbbells, anything else will do as well, a book or anything heavy that you can use, okay? So let's get into the second set now. And start from this side, step, push back, one, two, three, four. Remember to push off of this leg, okay? Don't pull from this leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, beautiful, 11, 12, well done guys, let's switch sides, ready, and one, good, two, beautiful, three, very nice, four, five, well done, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well done, guys. Twelve. Let's take a thirty second break again. Second set in the books. Keep breathing. So for this last one, I'm gonna grab a weight just to add a little bit more intensity. You don't have to, if you feel like that was too easy, you can get a weight as well. So I got my weight right here and we're gonna do, again, 12. One, good. Two, very nice. Three. Four. Five, beautiful. Six. Seven, eight, nine, good, push, 10, very nice, 11, whoa, got a little off balance here, 12, but we covered, good, okay, that side is done, let's go to the other side, one, two, very nice, Three, make sure this leg stays straight, okay? Four. Five, very nice. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, two more guys. You're amazing, you're doing great. Let's go, come on, one more. Beautiful, 12, well done guys. Let's put away the dumbbell, let's take a minute break. Good job, third exercise, second exercise done. 
All right, let's breathe. Recover. Starting to sweat. Legs, legs get you sweating a lot. It's good, really good. Help to detox the body a little bit, get some water out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a new exercise for core again. I'm teaching you guys so many different core exercises. I hope you guys are finding them helpful. Today is something called a dead bug, okay? So you're pretty much gonna act like a bug on the floor that's flipped over and it's pretty much dying. So it's just a funny, funny name for this exercise, but it's a great exercise for your core and help to build some core stability and for your lower back as well to strengthen it. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna get onto the floor, and then what I want you to do is, get your knees up so that they're 90 degrees here, okay? Keep your feet like this, and get your hands right beside your, right in line with your shoulders. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna drop the opposite hand and the opposite leg. So if we're gonna drop this hand, we're gonna drop this leg down, okay? And then bring them back to the same spot. Don't bring them all the way down or all the way back here, just to the exact same stop spot that you started. But the main thing you wanna make sure is that your back is flat against the floor, okay? There should be no arch in your back. So back has to be flat against the floor, okay? So right here, let's go. We're gonna do eight per arm. So here, let's drop. One. One. Two. Two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, one more, eight, eight. Very nice guys, that was your first set. It's a little challenging, especially for your abs, especially if you haven't done it before. Let's keep breathing. 30 seconds, then we're gonna go again. Okay, ready? Now let's get going. We are gonna do our next set. Okay, drop the opposite hand, opposite leg, bring it back, one. One. Two. Two. Three, good. Three. Four. Four, beautiful. Five. Five, six, six, start feeling now. Seven, seven, very nice. Eight, eight. Whew, that was a little tough. Start to shake in your stomach, which is great. Let's breathe. Second set in the books. Beautiful, good job. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay guys, five seconds. Let's go, last one. And we're ready to go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four, five, five. Keep breathing, guys. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Well done, guys. Beautiful. Okay, so that is your third set in the books. Now we're gonna take a minute break, we're gonna breathe, and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Let's breathe.
Okay, you guys are doing great. So we've done this exercise before. It's called the glute bridges. We've been doing it for this whole time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it up the notch a little bit and do it on one leg. Okay, it's really gonna target your butt even more. So we're gonna do three sets of 10 per leg on the glute bridges, okay? So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. It's gonna get a little bit more difficult, okay? But I know you guys are tough. You can do it. So remember before we keep both hands down, we keep both legs down and then we push up like this. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna keep one leg down and one leg up and then push from one leg. So all the weight is on that one leg and that one butt cheek, okay? So now we're gonna do 10 per leg. So one, two, three. Try to get your hip as high as you can. Four, five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, 10, good, switch, it's a bit of a struggle. So if you could do eight, no problem, do eight. If you could do 10, even better. One, two, three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, push, nine, and <laughs> nice guys, beautiful. So. Like you can tell that was a little bit tough. You can see my leg was shaking. The butt was shaking, that means it was working, right? So let's breathe. 30 seconds, you know the drill. Now we're gonna do the second set. Okay, let's get into it, ready? Start out with the right leg and Push, one, two, three, good, four, five. You wanna go as high as you can, squeeze for one second, six, then come back down, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very nice guys, let's switch legs, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, big squeeze, and 10. <laughs> Very nice. Okay guys, 30 second break, we go again. I have to wipe my sweat, I'm sweating a lot today. Pretty humid today. How hot is it where you guys are right now? It's not that bad in Canada, but wherever you are, if you're in Pakistan, India, Dubai, UK, let me know how hot it is these days. It's gotten humid today, so getting a little bit more sweaty today. Keep breathing. All right, let's go. Last set, guys. Then we have one more exercise left, okay? Then we do the stretches and we're all done. You can do it, come on. And push, sorry, this leg. One, two, very nice. Three, four, five, six, seven, beautiful. Eight, nine, ah, 10, good. Really push for that last one. And we're other side now. Switching, ready? Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, beautiful. Four, very nice. Five, good. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, Ah, and 10, good job guys, done, beautiful. Okay, so let's take a minute now, let's take a break and then we do the last exercise, okay? So the last exercise is something that you haven't done before, it's a new exercise for your triceps again. So let's take a breather, then I'll let you know what the exercise is, okay? Okay, so for this one, 
You're gonna need a stool and you're gonna need a dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can hold a book as well or you can hold any sort of thing that's heavy like a, a bag of oil or whatever you wanna use. But I prefer you have dumbbells by now. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a stool. I'm gonna get my stool, I'm gonna get one piece of dumbbell and I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna do overhead tricep extensions, okay? It's a great exercise to really hit the third head of the triceps in your, in your arms here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stool and my, my weights. All right, so I have my stool here now and I have my weight. So I'm gonna show you from the side first, okay? You're gonna sit down and you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the dumbbell like in, like a diamond. You're gonna put one hand in here and the other hand inside, okay? So it kind of cups the dumbbell together like this, okay? Then you're gonna keep your back straight, keep your elbows tucked in, bring the weight down and push back up, one. So we're gonna do three sets of 12, push up, two, all the way up. Three, nice. Four. Five. Six, good. Seven, the keys to come down nice and slow and controlled. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job. Eleven. And that is 12. Very nice, guys. Let's take a 30 second break. Now I'm gonna show you from the front, okay? Because there's a key, key component of this exercise. You wanna make sure you keep the elbows tucked in. You're not flaring the elbows out, okay? So let's take a break. Keep breathing. We're almost done, guys. You're doing great. Okay, so now, again, we're gonna grab it like this. Grab the bar, grab the dumbbell, keep the elbows tucked in, okay? Don't let them flare out. And again, push all the way up. One, bring it down nice and slow and controlled. Two, very nice. Three, good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, one more, 12, beautiful guys, let's take a 30 second break, so if you don't have a dumbbell at home, you can always hold like a heavy book as well and do the same thing, so you can hold the book like this, right, and then bring the book down and bring the book up like this, right, make sense, okay, good, so let's take a break, breathe, we have about 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna do the last one, then we're just gonna do the stretches and then we're all done. Okay, quickly wipe my sweat a little bit. Today is uh, kind of sweating a lot today for you guys. Good job. Hope you guys are getting a good sweat as well. Let's do it, last one. And down and up, one. Elbows tucked in, two, breathe in and breathe out. Three, four, very nice. Five, good. Six, good. Seven, beautiful. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, one more. Twelve, beautiful guys. Good job, okay, so let's take a minute break now. I'm gonna put away the stool and the dumbbell. Then we're gonna meet back for the stretch, okay? All right guys, let's take a minute breather. And then we're gonna finish it off. Well done, you finished day 17. Keep breathing. So today we're gonna do this tricep stretch, okay? Cause you've been doing a lot of tricep work, a lot of push-ups, a lot of tricep exercises. So I thought let's incorporate one of the tricep stretches that I like to do, which is really helpful to stretch out the tricep. So what I do is you pretty much get your arm and you put it over behind your head like this and you take your opposite hand and you put it on your elbow. And then you wanna pull the elbow down this way, in this direction, okay? And you'll feel a nice stretch in your, in your tricep. So once you're here, I also like to push rotate and bring my my torso to the side here and that stretches out the side of my abs at the same time too so you get two in one so you breathe in and you breathe out okay so it's the other side same thing get the elbow up hand across pull across and and then you rotate get a nice stretch on the side 
If you don't want the stretch inside, that's fine. You just stand straight, bring your hand here and pull down. You get a nice stretch. Good, okay, so you wanna hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds, sometimes even 30 seconds if you feel like it. And that's it, you do it for both sides and you're good to go. Thank you guys, we're done day 17. Thank you for joining me, thank you for joining these workouts and I hope you had a really good time. Hope you're finding these really helpful. Please do take a second to like the video, leave a comment, it helps with the engagement of the video and helps it to show other people. And if you can, please subscribe, I'll really love your support. I'll see you guys next time.